This is a cold frame. Think of it as a tiny mobile greenhouse that's easy to set up and break down. I'd been wanting another way to extend my growing season and the neighbor was throwing out his old storm windows. I took the whole lot and made some cuts to the trunks of some fallen trees on the farm and some old boards to create this cold frame. The total cost was zero dollars beyond the time and labor to create these and if you keep your eyes open for some old storm windows you can duplicate this pretty easily. Let's see how. First thing, grab some old boards. Mine are fairly tall and I notch them so that they fit together like puzzle pieces as you see here. The dimensions of the notches depend on the storm windows that you get, so um, you can see the dimensions listed here. The only tricky bit is how far apart the notches are. They're the width of the window plus a few inches on each side to support the tree trunks. I also uh, used a chainsaw to cut all four of these at once, they don't need to be exact. And then assemble your boards into a square as seen here. Second, grab the trunks of some fallen trees, somewhere between 6 and 12 inches in diameter. You'll want them mostly straight since they'll connect to the windows, but they don't have to be perfect. Cut an X on the bottom, as you see here, and that's going to fit over the boards. I found that it's simplest to cut the X prior to removing the section of trunk from uh, the, the whole trunk, so uh, it's well supported and held in place. Go ahead and cut all four of these uh, trunk pieces and place them over the boards as seen here. Third, take your windows and hold them up to the board and trunk assembly that you just made, and use a big marker to draw a line right down the trunk along the edge of that window. Uh, cut that line that you just drew about one to two inches deep with your chainsaw and I made mine two chainsaw kerfs wide so that I was sure that the window would slide in there. This is the actual pocket that the window will slide into on your uh, trunks. Fourth, fit the windows into the notches that you just cut as seen here. Mark the top of the window on each trunk and make that then remove the windows and then cut the trunks to the proper height so that they'll match the window height um, and you don't have a big gap at the top of each window. Last, you'll want a roof. Uh, if you have big enough windows to cover the whole thing, just use that. Um, but I didn't have a big enough window, so I ended up making a square out of boards and placing the roof window on top of that. That's it. It's free and you can disassemble and store the parts once the spring and fall seasons for using these have ended. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more unique and useful do-it-yourself builds.